Okay, welcome back. We are working our way through the Microsoft Official Academic Course Lab Manual, Installing and Configuring Windows 10, in preparation for exam 70-698. The current lab that we're working on is Lab 5, which is implementing Windows in an, in an enterprise environment. And we are up to exercise 5.3, which is configuring group policy. Now, because this is group policy, we have to do this on the domain controller. So I have to log into our domain controller. And then as soon as the server manager comes up, we can do this. And we want to go into tools. Oh, this is way too small. Okay. I had to make this a little bit bigger so it was easier to see. So now what we're going to do is, again, we're logged into our domain controller and we're in the server manager dashboard. So now we're going to click on tools. And go into group policy management. Go ahead and expand this, expand the forest, and expand the domain, expand datum.com. It wants us to click on sales, but we haven't created a sales yet. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and right click on to a datum.com and we want to do a new organizational unit and we're going to call it sales and then okay. Although that particular instruction was not in the lab manual. So we are now on sales. <clears throat> and we want to right click sales and then click create a GPO in this domain and link it here. And we're going to call this desktop. And then OK. Now we want to right click on the desktop. Oops. And choose edit. And then we're going to expand this. And we want to navigate to user configuration. Expand policies. and administrative templates and then expand desktop and then we want to click on desktop and we want to double click desktop wallpaper And then in the dialog box, we want to choose Enabled. And the Wallpaper Name text box. We want to type in C colon backslash Windows backslash Web backslash Screen backslash IMG 
1.2.104.jpg. And I want it to fill. There we go. And we'll go ahead and do OK. And you are going to, if you're required to do so, this would be where you would take your screenshot. Actually, this is the end of this lab. So go ahead and take your screenshot. And then we'll go ahead and close out of this. Actually, the end of, it's also the end of this exercise. Close. And the end of this video. As always, thank you for watching. Make sure you tell others about these videos if you found it in, if you found it helpful. Uh, leave any comments down below.